So this video here is a follow-up to the one I've just done on Mount Kutha. Now, whenever I make a video, I always like to find out if there are any filming restrictions, if there's anything you, you can't film, is there anywhere where you can't park your car, or are there certain hours for access, things like that. So I called Brisbane City Council and I said, do I need any special permission? I'm just, just trying to be good, you know, just trying to do the right thing. And uh, do I need a, any sort of permits to film here? Because I have a YouTube channel and it's monetized, I thought I would check. The answer was, yes, you do. You have to fill in an application form. And so they sent me the application form, this one right here. And they said, fill it in and we will look at your, uh, you know, what you're doing. This form, this filming permit is actually designed for movie production and TV show production and music videos and anything where you're going to be bringing a lot of people and a lot of equipment and you're going to be here for quite a long time. I would say virtually every question on here apart from name, address and phone number is completely irrelevant to content creators. Now look, I fully understand the need for filming permits. They are an absolutely essential document. I have filled in countless of these over many years when I was at university at film school and in my professional work as a filmmaker. But for someone who is literally just walking around as I am now with a selfie stick, you still need to fill in this form. And I find that ridiculous. Individual or corporation? Well, I'm an individual, I suppose. Are you a student? No. Let me start typing in my name. So I don't have a title yet, so I'm just going to call it History of Mount Kutha. Production type, what is it? Is it a feature film, a music video, a short film, TV programming, commercial, um, what have you? Well, I'll say documentary. The synopsis. The story of the history of the development of the area called Mount Kutha. Economic value. Here they're talking about the economic value of filming in Brisbane and provide improved service to the screen industry. Please provide an indication of your total production budget. There is no budget for this, it's just me walking around on my own. So I'm going to say zero. I mean, what else can I put in there? City Botanic Gardens, fine. Is this location the unit base? Now this is where we get into this whole thing about this is a shooting permit for movies and TV shows and big productions. There is no unit base because I'm just a content creator walking around with a handheld camera. So I'm saying no, there is this, um, if I say yes, does it make any difference? Describe the filming activity that will be taking place at this location. I'm going to be filming trees, plants and flowers and all that stuff. Right, you need to specify equipment and here they've got things like tracks and jibs and lights and generators and chairs and uh, catering and explosion and special effects. No, it's just a handheld camera. Provide number of personnel for this location including any visitors. Number of crew, well that's just me. Number of talent, well that's just me. Number of security, zero. I'm not, I'm not bringing security with me. Do you require any of the following at this location? Vehicles, footpath, closures, road enclosures? None of the above. Next. Now, the next part is attachments. This is supporting documents. And that'll take a little bit of work. You are required to attach the following documents. Site maps. Each location total, attach a photo or detailed map with locations and equipment clearly marked if road closures, etc. Well, I'm, I'm walking all over the park, so what do I put? Okay, so what I've just done now is I've found a map and of the gardens and site maps for each location, attached a detailed photo, attached a photo or detailed map with the locations. All right, fine. So I've done that. So what I've done is, here's the map there. This is, this is the park. Because I'm just going to be roaming around, I'm not like going to that lawn to film actors and I'm not going down to that bit of water to film a boat chase. I'm just, I'm going to be all over the place. So I put arrows everywhere because I'm, I might walk around the perimeter, I might go to the bandstand, I might, um, you know, go into that tropical dome, uh, I might spend 15 minutes there, or I might spend two hours. I don't know. We'll see what happens on the day. Now we come down to public liability insurance. 
So what I'm going to do is create a document not clickable. That's it. File safe work method statement risk assessment. Again, this is another one of those things that is completely irrelevant if you're a content creator because you're just, you're just walking around with a camera. You're just filming the sites. You're, you're not building sets. You're not setting off explosions. You're not crowd managing. You're not um, you know, having to have cars with, with famous actors come in and, and all that sort of thing. It's, it's none of that. This is irrelevant. Right, safe work method statement risk assessment. What do, what do they want me to put? I have no idea what they put. I, I'm not bringing barriers with me. I'm not um, having security keep the public back. I'm not closing anything. There's no pyrotechnics. Okay, all I can say is I promise not to bump into anyone or trip over any plants or hedges. I also promise to obey all signs. Oh, that, that's a, that are of a safety advisory nature. Right, I've just uploaded the safe work method statement risk thing, but I've noticed the one above it is the resident business notification letter. A copy of the letter you will use to inform any residents and businesses that may be affected by filming activities. What in all honesty do you put for that if you're just walking around with one of these? I'm not writing a notification letter to nearby residents and businesses for the simple reason that, oops, I pose no threat, danger, inconvenience, or confusion to absolutely anyone. I'm just a, a guy with a handheld camera filming plants and trees like tens ah, thousands of other visitors to the park every year. So what that means is every YouTuber who's ever been here, who maybe their channel was monetized or maybe not, should have asked permission via this filming permit. And a quick look on YouTube, and you can do this yourself, you can just look up all the videos that have been made here at the Botanic Gardens, and you'll see a lot. Some of these channels are very small, uh, some of them are larger, some are not monetized, I'm sure quite a few are. Did any of these people ask for permission to film here? I would say, I would wager that the answer is no. So what's the solution? Do you have security guards at the entrance or to the all of the entrances here at the botanic gardens and do not so much bag checks but social media checks find out how many subscribers the person has and what their click-through rate is and how much money they earn of course not that's ridiculous so let's just summarize the situation first of all the form in its present state for content creators i'm not talking about big films and tv shows but for content creators is redundant and not applicable Secondly, no content creator is going to contact Brisbane City Council to fill in that form and get permission. Thirdly, it wastes your time and it wastes our time going through the motions of filling it in and reviewing it. Fourthly, there's no way you can police this. This park is open seven days a week. So all of those things put together show that this form is useless for YouTubers and content creators. You should drop the expectation that people need to fill in one of these things just to walk around the park and film it. And just as a further thought, the Olympics are going to be on. The untold tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people descending on Brisbane from all around the world, some of them may have uh, large YouTube channels, huge followings. How do you intend to police all of these people coming in here? Because they're going to want to come up here and visit 
and they're going to want to record their their time here as they should so what are you going to do about all the visitors here are you going to start to uh, questioning them about what they're doing in the gardens just because they're holding a, a phone or a, a small camera? Are you going to insist that these people fill in filming permits? Well, some of these people may not even speak English. What do you do then? All right, sorry about that controlled rant, uh, but I had to say it uh, because the form is so useless for content creators. Um, thank you for indulging me on that one. I don't know if it's going to do any good with Brisbane City Council, um, but as a as a content creator and someone who shoots in Brisbane a lot, um, yeah, I felt I had to say something. Thanks for watching, and I'll end it on the um, 